Welcome to the Highlights channel of the Ranveer Show. Quick fire, heavy information clips available for you now. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video and enjoy it. Why don't you actually explain what happened at CERN and why it was such a big deal in the world of science? And I remember before that experiment took place, news media was saying that could this be the end of the earth? <laughs> could half the planet get destroyed? What's the logic? So uh, the latest uh, instrument, particle accelerator that has been constructed and operationalized at CERN is called the Large Hadron Collider. It takes extremely high energetic particles, very accelerated, accelerated to close to the speed of light, like 0 0.99 times the speed of light, almost the speed of light. So these are subatomic particles. They are accelerated and they are smashed together. Mm. And we want to see what comes out of the smash, the, the debris of the of the collision, right? And the one particle everybody was looking for was the mysterious Higgs boson. So there are 17 particles in the in the standard model of the in the standard model, out of which we know that the photon exists. The photon is the mass is the mediator of the electromagnetic force. You have the W and Z bosons that are the mediators of the uh, the 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 weak nuclear force and so on. But one boson, one particle was missing, which is the Higgs boson. Missing as in like which we had never discovered it. We have we had never encountered it. We had never seen it experimentally, observationally. Theoretically we knew it exists. Theoretically it was post it was it was theorized by Peter Higgs in the 1960s and, and a bunch of other people, other scientists, that such a boson should exist. Otherwise the universe would not have mass. But for a human life, what's the point of discovering that? We don't know what the application is of the Higgs boson yet or what is it? Uh, the Higgs boson is what gives mass to the universe. There are certain particles that are massless. The photon is massless, right? Some particles are massless. But some particles are very have very little mass and some particles are very massive. Why is it so? So in quantum field theory, there are no particles. There are simply fields. And the 17 particles of the standard model are 17 different fields and each proton each electron, these particles are merely local uh, disturbances in that infinite universal uh, photon, proton field, neutron field, etc. Mm. So the universe is actually an illusion. Whatever we see is an illusion. It's just fields that we are. We are also part of fields. So if such a Higgs boson did not exist, then the universe would not have mass. So the theory is this: there is a boson. There's a particle called the Higgs boson which imbues the universe with mass. Certain particles interact weakly with the Higgs boson field, with the Higgs field. Those particles have a small mass. Some particles interact strongly with the Higgs field. Those particles have a large mass. Some particles simply don't interact with the Higgs field. Those particles are massless. So that's the theory that was put forth in the 1960s. And everyone was looking for this Higgs boson because we had discovered other bosons like the W boson, Z boson and so on. This one particle was missing. We had never found it experimentally. And maybe it's because our particle accelerators were not strong enough. We're not powerful enough. We, they did not accelerate the particles to high enough energies. But when you say particle, what is a layman supposed to visualize? An atom? Let's say we are firing two protons at each other. A proton is the uh, nucleus of a hydrogen atom. Hmm? A hydrogen atom is a proton at the center and an electron going around it. Yeah. You strip away the electron, you're left with a proton. That is the nucleus of a hydrogen atom. Let's take a, a, a beam of protons. You, you accelerate that to 0 0.99 times the speed of light. And you take another beam of protons coming in the opposite direction and you make them collide. And let's see what comes out of this big massive smash up. It's a very highly energetic smash up because it's almost at the speed of light. Um, so because the particles are traveling with such incredible speeds, their masses increase like we, we, just discover, we just discussed, right? So we're going to have a very massive collision. And the mass of the collision, the energy that results out of it is, is much more than the energy of two protons. Because there is the energy of the, of the, uh, the, acceler the speed also, which, which increases the energy. So you may have some exotic particles that are formed temporarily. Just, just fractional, momentarily in that collision, and the and the large hadron collider has various instruments that record a photograph, so to say, a snapshot of what came out of the collision, what weird particles came out of it, and because the LHC, the large hadron collider, is the most uh, most energetic, the the most powerful particle accelerator is it's it accelerates particles to the highest velocities ever 
achieved thus far so it was hoped that this part this uh, experiment will help us see evidence of the higgs boson and i think it was in 2012 or whatever year it was that we finally discovered this higgs boson there's a new particle that appeared that had never been seen before and eventually it was confirmed that this is the missing and long sought after higgs boson which journalists were calling the god particle mm. so yeah that's what happened why is it called god particle just it's just a name just for fun why is the big bang called the big bang it was not an <laughs> explosion but somebody called it the big bang i think it was fred hoyle who called it the big bang and this name caught on even though he meant it in a derogatory manner mm. because he was trying to make fun of this theory but it actually turned out to be true mm. <laughs> that was the video for today make sure you hit like subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends trs clips will be back soon